presenter, and then he will get started on talking. Um, Stephen Sanyu is our presenter. Mr. Sanyu was born in Burma. In 1988, thousands of people took to the streets demanding democratic reforms in the government. These demonstrations were brutally repressed, and the military seized power in a coup on September 18, 1988. Mr. Sanyu became a youth leader in the National League for Democracy, or NLD, uh, per, pardon my pronouncing, but Tanya. Taninthari. Thank you. Imagine. Um, and so for five years, he was a member of the All Burma Students Democratic Front and took up arms against the military totalitarian dictatorship. He was deputy commander of the Regiment 121 and quartermaster and adjutant officer of Regiment 203. In 1996, after imprisonment of his father, cousins, and friends, and with the Burmese military gaining more power, he was forced to flee to Thailand. He was granted refugee status to the United States, came in 2000, and now resides in Buffalo. He's a member of the President's Community Advisory Committee, the Buffalo State College, and the President of the Burmese Community Services Incorporated. Their goal is to assist new arrival Burmese refugee and immigrant people with issues they are facing, including but not limited to language barriers, cultural adjustment, and to provide other services and resources. Other goals are to promote understanding of the American culture, eliminating prejudice and discrimination, and assisting with employment and labor matters. Burmese Community Services collaborates with stakeholders in Buffalo, including government, refugee, resettlement agencies, and other organizations addressing the needs of the Burmese people. One of the biggest issues facing the Burmese community in Buffalo is language barriers, and he is an interpreter for both the International Institute of Buffalo and Lakeshore Behavioral Health. Also, almost forgot, Sun Burmese is the restaurant that we have food from today for anybody that got it. So thanks to Sun Burmese because of it. All right. And with that, I leave it to you. Thank you, Stephanie, and everybody here. Sorry for you coming late. <laughs> okay, let's start it. If you have any questions, just let me know any time. Uh, I will do my best. <laughs> Okay, we will be contain uh, this about our, our country web, profit and graphics. Burma or Myanmar, this is very important part for us because a lot of people are confusing someone calling Myanmar, someone calling Burma. That's why it's very important to know that. And also uh, how many ethnic cities and language in our country. So that and also our person and age is very different with uh, our United States and uh, our country is culture. And culture and respect about the education and also our background of refugee and public people, how many people are living in Buffalo, we will highlight for that. And also issue in the program and any question if you have. This is our country in the world of uh, Asia. This is a global one. Yeah. Here is Burma. This, this is old version. I added and I say I will send you again. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. We have seven state and seven division. All is equal. A little confusing about our country system, regime system, like the America, just using with the state, or the state, like the Canada. Canada are using with the division too. For our country, Mesa, seven state and also seven division. Most of the state are ethnic people. Most of all kind of ethnic people are living in the world, especially in the East state. And those seven division is most Burmese people living there. And this is geography. This population of about uh, 55 to 60 million. But our country's region is some crazy. This number is 2000. Uh, it's since in about 2008. But before that, we had some number around 16 million people. Where is Another people, <laughs> we are to be very thinking about that. And also, you have any questions too, I think. Because I believe that a lot of people living from the country, in neighbor country, immigrant, refugee, that's some issue in the program. And so this historic area is, is 
around the side is like Texas area. It is 269 uh, uh, and, uh, square feet. Okay, the city is Rangoon. They call it Yangon right now. It is some Burmese. They just use the right name, Yangon. Like the communication and speaking, talking with the own Burmese people, we just call it Yango. But it's really the government changing Yango, spelling the same with the pronoun. But before or officially using with the Ringum, R A G O N, Ringum, it is a mini decay already. And also the changing capital city in November 6, 2005. New uh, capital city is Navy Door. This is military government using right now. But it's no agency is going there, just office open there. Stay <coughs> capital city in the Rangoon. But this is like administration capital. And border country is Thailand, China, India, and Bangladesh. This is very important part because uh, I have been talking presentation in the our official and organization, the government department, anywhere, because a lot of people are very confusing. How we call it in your country? It is Burma or Myanmar? That's why we have some explain for that. We are independent from the United Kingdom in July 4, to, uh, 1948. Independent from the began. It's called the UZ, uh, Union of Burma until uh, 1988. Its military cap again in March 2nd, 1962. And then we had democracy uprising in the whole country. It is nationwide in 1988, August. And cap again is 18 September, 88. After the cap in 89. After the cap 88, they changing the country's name. <coughs> Because State Peace and Development Council, SPDC, a lot of people know that, it is named. And then after a year later, they come again in 88, and then 89, they go into the United Nations and they want to be changing the name from Myanmar to Myanmar. That's why on that year in March, they changed all the city name on the street, city street and country name too, from Myanmar to Myanmar. Why they change it for that? This is very good to know that. Because in 1988, we have a demonstration in the whole country, nationwide uprising led by young students like us, like you, everybody. They carry a lot of people in the city, not in the jungle, not in the borderline. In the city of Rangoon, it's kept the city in Rangoon, proud of the U.S. Embassy, United Kingdom Embassy. They carry thousands of people, about 3,000 people died in the drug But nobody knows. This war is not known because no internet on that time. There's no people, <laughs> no data, nobody know that. That's why they were to be hiding something inside Burma, what is going on, what happened. That's why they just tricking to change everything. It's a new name, not Burma anymore. We went to call it Myanmar. They didn't like, they didn't recognize our military government. We just call it Myanmar. We don't know Burma. Just Myanmar, we are from New York, Myanmar, Myanmar government, that's what they call it for them. That reason, they change the name. That's why our explain already, it is some, our nation, like the Canada, United States, United Kingdom, they are not recognized, changing the name. And also, most of these people, like us, and another people, especially who is our opposite, democratic, fighting for the democratic people, and organization, they are not recognized and call it the changing Myanmar. It is still calling it Burma. This is number ethnic city and the language. All people from Burma is Burmese. This I everybody know that in Burma we have uh, 135 ethnic group. They have the, the old language, old culture, and old dialect. It is Burma. Eight, eight ethnic city are, is recognized, officially recognized. They know our uh, United Nations or another country, they already know that. But we have to separate that. It's Burma had nine sub ethnic groups. In Shan, 33 sub ethnic groups. More, only one, more is only one. Rakai or Arakan, they call it, uh, like our Burmese people call it Damsa. 
we call it archive, not object. But when we write it on uh, with a letter or speaking with a foreigner, we just call it AutoCAD state. But right now, it's more more changing. And Chen, Chen has 53 ethnic group, sub ethnic group. To see how difficult to be communicate with uh, each other. And also, Kachin had 12 ethnic group. Kaya, and also we call it Granny. Nine ethnic. And Kren, Kren, it is when we write it out, it's Kren. But like the Burmese people in the nation, we just use it Kien. That's Kren. 11 ethnic group. This is uh, their the own traditional cross, and where they live is a Burmese living in the middle of the country. This is me in traditional. It's an old Burmese living, and it is more more state. This is a state too. It is more state. It is Shan state. It is bigger land in the country. This is traditional clothes and big way. And this is a Rukai or Arakan. For Christ's sake, they live in there. This is Kachin, northern country. It is borderline with China. And this is traditional clothes. It is Kremi or Pia. We call it Pia in Burmese people and the Burmese government using the Pia not. They are not calling using the Kremi. Uh, like and also, other thing we call it Red, red Kremi. <laughs> right brain, directly translate for that, but they say use it for that right brain too. It is Chin. This is a Chin study uh, in the line with the India. And this is Korean, but align with the uh, Thai. This is part of the thing. It's personal name. Here is very important too. When our all refugee people, when they apply to the United Nations, register to the United Nations, or uh, apply to the uh, embassy in the, the leave the country, they need to be using filled out form by the application of what about they need to be using with the first name, last name, or DOB. But we don't have the first name, we don't have the first name or last name. We have only one name. But they must to be filled out for the name. That's why one day they separate, <laughs> they just separate it. <laughs> like Sanyu, for example. My name is only Sanyu, S A N Y U, but they must need to be fair enough. Yes, San in U. But really, it's only one day because uh, our culture tradition that we use it for that. That's why a lot of people are programmed with the name when they are coming to another country or U.S. <laughs> We give a name is so we have the naming system, especially in Burmese people, uh, not even is Buddha religion or an, another religion. They stay using for the this naming system too. For example, like we have the uh, the Saturday, Monday, to, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Who born in what day and what name we give it to them? We are not using with the last name, but we stay using for the father name. And uh, it's name and father name. What is your father name? And date of birth. And remarkable or not, for it. What part of the, you have the mark or it or something like that. And they say, you For example, we give a name. Like the one I say, we call it, it is, we have the 33 or uh, upper in the Burmese. Ya la la wa. For simple like Lisa. She was born in one estate, you know that. Like Stephanie, S, sus. S sound like su. Stephanie was born in Tuesday. That, that's what this system we use it for that. We stay using for that too. <laughs> that's a very good to see, huh? <laughs> it's funny. It's, <laughs> yes. And also, in here, culture is very different. You and me. When we talking, speaking, calling people his name or something like that. Hey, how are you? Or you, something like that. You know, me, uh, talking between parent and the kid, or you know, friend or teacher in school, doesn't matter. Only you and me. 
But our culture is not like that. So we need to be free feet, front of the knee. If not, it's very bad person. Like the parent and teacher are not teaching to them for the good person. That's why you know. For certain like who is older or younger, how is older, like uncle is too old, we use it who or do. It's you, you is some someone is pronoun you <laughs> the rightly, but it's not we are a pronoun is you. It's door is a like mix like auntie. Anchor, anchor may you. That's why we put it. It is ma. Ma is a for female, a little younger sister. Like ma is a younger brother. Is older than me. Is a colleague. Pretty with the ma. And ko, ko is a little older than me, or little little older than you. It is for the male, like brother. But this is uh, here and there. We see a lot of. I see a lot of face because I already told you there are only one name. But when they call it Ula, Mosempa Ula, his name is just La. But everybody call it his friend, hey, La, or uh, Maula. But his nephew or his younger than someone is calling Ula, or Brother La, who is at the same, call it Brother La. But when they need to be fed up, they have how to fed up the name, only one name, La. Ula. That's why who is first name, La is sec, uh, last name. And that's and as, especially for the old lady, old female who's arriving here as a refugee, they have only Dong Yi. His name is Mi only Dong Yi. But they don't have to be first name, last name. That's why they use it first name is Dong, last name is Mi. And really, it's not. This is like Miss or Miss. But we cannot change it. They already put it in the, our system. Already mm -hmm. put it in the uh, form already. <laughs> That's why it's good to know uh, what is bomber in Burmese people is look like. This is body language and culture. It's how we have to be respect. And generally, Burmese people are, are our people are very quiet and modest. We treat other people with very respectfully. And may other people may not only act. Older people like that are a uh, respected teacher. It's even younger than me, doesn't matter, but he has experience or knowledge about education or whatever. He is teacher for me or teacher for anybody. We have to be paid respect to them too. Like, and also a the person who better like a police officer, military, whatever, doesn't matter with the act. That's why we pay respect, we treat him with the older people. And, and also, we are not. I know that American culture, it doesn't matter. We use it like funny or very freedom, you know, it's body movement, it's okay. But our culture is not. We, if we use it like this, it's very, very bad for us. <laughs> we use it with a hand or something like that. And also touching with hair or something, it is not good for the Burmese culture. Just, but forget it. I just share our culture and, you know, it's a situation of our people. But here is the United States. We have to be uh, working uh, to be together with uh, our American society, and so we need to be changing our mind too, because of different place, different, you know, revolution. Everything is changing already. And, and also, who is married, this couple? A lot of people, even in the Asia, is former from these people. We don't care using with a ring after uh, they get a windy or whatever. But same Asian country with like Thailand, La, they still using the same culture with US, America, and the uh, East country, they use it with a ring. All, all the time they win for that. But it's probably people who don't care. They don't care. But some of them they still believe for that. That's what we're gonna do. And also do not judge women on any part of the body, but this is for the like public place. Uh, hey, how are you holding with the body? <laughs> we find bar is in the bama. It's not <laughs> in the bama. It's not. That's a. It's very different. Do uh, you know for that? We have some program in here. And this point is very important. When speaking to the person and other, they do not make eye contact. Your head. We pay respect. 
we are not looking eye to eye. If we look it like that, it's very one person. It's like you're looking for program. <laughs> it's like that. But here, that's why we have very uh, different situation in here too. We need to be uh, giving a lot of thing to be educate them because uh, different culture, different religion, and different belief that they pay respect. Just any, just speaking and talking, not looking at eye. No, I can write. But here, for example, someone they bring to the court, court they get a clever, foolish red, then break it with the court. Judge need to be looking at her eye or his eye. He talking, everything is true or not. If someone hiding something, cannot look at the eye. Uh, but it's bummy people. They pay respect, very attention to them. They are not, they are not looking for that. But this how between you know our culture and American culture is different. That's why I'm doing the kind of job and also another play for that we need to be integrated what is again. This is very important part for them. And also it's one thing uh, everywhere we go in house or apartment or religion building, <coughs> we take it out of the shoe. That's why our uh, American is not because of the healthy situation or whatever, you know, it's something. <laughs> but just good to know that, you know, please don't keep it in your mind. I just let you know that uh, what is our culture look like. And also, women, we pay attention some respect to the women too. Because, uh, you know, for the same thing, like we have the, our couple of people, we have the domestic violence in the household, they are surprised or they will, doesn't matter. In the bummer, especially women, is not working, just stay in the house, taking care at home, and home work, doing for that. The husband, head of the household, he finding the job and the making money and everything, doing business. When they have the program, or they separate there, or they put it legally or doesn't matter for the social media. They have to be separate together. That's why, you know, how we have to be pay attention to the women, right, like the people. And also, one thing here, too, children will live with their parents. They bring it here to the women, those matter. <laughs> because here, it is depend on the end. It is eight, over 18 years or over 21 years with our, our go in school or not. But it's bummer, it doesn't matter you have a 25 year or a 30 year or 35 year, even they didn't get married, they stay living in the household with the parents. They stay take care, they stay covering in the household member. But here it's not, they do it your own, you do your own. You stay in your own. That's a little difficult to that because I like the social service, they need to be figured out too. Like the, our welfare, public system, and the Medicaid post or something like that. When they apply for them, they say living in there. But they need to be separate for them. That's good to know. It's one point. Also, is our the household household, household but guys need to be designed for them. Hey, I don't need to give. Oh, I don't need to pay them. Don't give it them. He cannot do it. Nothing to just respect her, you know? This is our situation in Burma about the education. We have very poor education program is for the politics. The ruling understanding the regime is for this government. They are very scary, very worried about the education. That's why if people, a lot of our young people, if they educate, they have many questions. It's like you, we have many questions. We have, you know, any reason we want to know something. Why? Why? But it's from his government, they didn't like it to question. And after they got in 62, we had a very long history of the student. The first cup in 1962, all the history, just student started and organized for the demonstration and demand our rights, people in rights, not only for the student in rights, all people is right. We need university, we need equal, we need human rights, we need the right of education, right of the league, 
that's why military government is very high and you know about especially for the student this is you can look at you you will be very scary too because about our closing school universities college in the country in nature record that are 8888 it is August 8, 1988. This is very uh, hard as a nationwide uprising, democracy, you know, for that. After that, two years, the military government is closed down for all university, all school, even uh, elementary school, middle school, high school, all college, all university, closed for the two years. They reopened in 1990 in the time of the election. General election. It has been done already too, but they are not changing the power. I won't talk about politics. <laughs> and then 1996, another serious cry again. Because our, I told you already, our students started for the, you know, organizing and study and demand for the government. They demonstrate again, and they closed out again for the three year. <laughs> All university colleges closed out again. And yes, as many students, they go in fighting like me, you know, going to the younger, we do it first, and the uh, on the on our own ground, not underground, with the party and everything. But finally, they are not changing the power. Because we are very young, very active. We want to be fighting, not just speaking, not just talking, you know, like we just need to be fighting or changing government right away. That's what we need to be looking at which way is better and what way we have to do. That's why we try to be, you know, scary. It's for our life, fighting, soldier, guard, everything doing, every way, many ways. And 2000, it's 96. <coughs> they closed three, three more years. And they, after 2000, because in 96, 97, uh, 2000, it is reopened again. After they open, they reopen. He moved to the outside of the city. All university cover. <coughs> they change it. They worry because it, in the city, easy to organize people. Easy to go into the street. That's why they move it. They close down. Everything moves to the outside of the country, uh, outside of the city. All divided, all separated. That's why they need to be easy to control the people and the street. That's why our house look like you will be understanding is from this patient and the people. <laughs> <coughs> this is education craft. This is our uh, situation, state situation, and uh, our. While they are teaching in the classroom or the school, everything needs to be approved by the government. What lesson? What you teach it to them? How you teach them, they need to be approved for that. All under military control. Okay. 1962 to uh, it's the black activity. Because not changing anything yet. A little changing right now, but I will try to do this and change it permanently. Uh, this is some situation. Lower school, a lot of students. Very poor equipment, school situation, and other time is closed. School, college, university, whatever they went, they just close it. <laughs> and raise the fee. Other time they doing, you know, oh, making a fee, you have to be delay them. If not, you don't have to become a school. How about some people, some family member, they are very poor, it's not not to be paid and not, not to be working. Cannot come in too. But they, they are not safe. Some people say you don't have to come in if you're not quickly. But some teacher or some place not say like that. But you know, everybody knows themselves too. This is the situation. And also our the income, the teacher is income is very low. Nobody went to do that. If not really not for the least job, it's nobody going to do that. It is very, very low. But are uh, some people right now because all I told you already, because young student, all student, very respectful, including parents. Oh, she is my, my son, a teacher. 
And also, I have to be paid attention, very respect of all of them too. It is a teacher in Europe, but it, uh, the rank is very low income. And also, <coughs> everybody has to go to private tuition. In the school, as we told you already, all approved by the village. They just come in, just walk in, you know, it is not uh, from the heart, just make it, push it. After that, they do, if you want to go great or go knowledge, you can come into learning or attend my private tuition. Or teacher, they need to be all their our tuition class. That's why we pay very high too. That's already I told you all approved by the government. And this is very uh, important for the young student in the Burma. Other kind of people's arrest. It's collected is very very wide definition. Not you know this is like the uh, five five C the the mark is five C is they, they can arrest anytime. If people stand or walking together, more than five people. <laughs> even you go to church or even you go to the monastery, doesn't matter. If they didn't like it, they can arrest you. <laughs> That's what very important. That's what a lot of people are arrest about the quality. They just put it in quality. They can put it in the jail as long as they can. They have no time to me. <laughs> This is a uh, buffalo in the buffalo right now. It's the number is just estimate to get more than those number. It's a crane, crane, chain, zomi. Uh, we have the chain. I told you already, it's over 53 sub ethnic. But it's zomi, is probably a chain too. But for them, sir, zomi, they didn't like to call it chain. They just call it them, sir. I'm zomi, not chain. Just like this, but you know, because of the government, many decades, many many years, we separate that because we have to be difficult to be uh, getting transportation, communicate each other. That's what problem. Because of the government, no, because of these people. <laughs> and more, and here about two hundred people is Bamba and Rakai and other. It is right now about a uh, eighty. 8,500 people are in act, or from this people from Burma. In Korean, Korean, it's like 95%. Korean, Korean people is coming for Thai refugee camp. It's borderline, Thai refugee camp. They, are very, they have very uh, poor knowledge, poor education. And Chen, Chen and other people <coughs> is coming from Malaysia. Who coming from Malaysia like Chen? They are smarter than who's coming from the refugee camp. <laughs> because of speaking, yeah. When they are going to Malaysia, it's not by land. Usually with a plane or a boat. First they go in legally or illegally a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit from Thailand. Most people they use it with a plane legally. Like uh, you know, walking visa or visiting visa or student visa, and then they apply for the refugee. That's why those people they can speak and they can understand the English well than the Korean people. This is some background of the refugee. We have very long running civil war in the world history. Side we got independent from UK is 1948 until today we stay fighting today. See how many years over 65 years already for that. A thousand of people are dying in the August 88 demonstration uprising in Walmart. And that's year a lot of people, thousands, thousands of people bring from the country like me. I got from the those years fighting, stay fighting and government and borderline and then coming back here. So a lot of people, many thousands of people, is coming from the uh, country this year. And they push it out, okay, 2007, it is Buddha mass, peacefully one on the screen, being peaceful, 
to the country means painful for the government may peaceful for the people that's why they just are watching in the street very peacefully but it's maybe the government just spread out to inhale and press a lot of people a lot of men is dying in the last day too that's why these people are still coming freely to the border country by the our thailand especially for the thailand in 2030, they is fighting again. Major government is going to fight it. It's not in Burma, either um, or, or in the main group. It's for a week in China. A lot of people are freely from the country too, and that day in 2030, cross over to the Thailand. This is current number in the refugee camp right now. This is only in Thailand, my refugee camp. We don't know number of the Malaysia. Malaysia have no refugee care, but a lot of people too. We don't know the number. We just know the uh, number for the refugee care because working together with United Nations and uh, our uh, Thai government. In IDP, this is the number for life. This is more detail. This is our <coughs> official number, official document for the they work it together. I think I uh, explained it out together with them. It's more clear. This is not clear. They said, what refugee care and how many people, male and female, you know, it's very good uh, number for this job. <coughs> you see all, all of this? This is all for a life. This is all refugee care right here, right here, all for a life, all for a life here. It is, Malaysia is down there. How they have to be doing there, you know, just come in, fly only. <laughs> <laughs> this is some issue in here because of the background or refugee background or our market situation in Obama. We said I mean, a long process in here and when they arrive it all totally change weather, food, culture, language, everything is changing in here. They are very uh, difficult for them. And this is very important uh, because of the language bar. They don't know and they don't understand legal system and law, how it's what in the United States. This is for those kids, they have been background in the uh, border line. It's not in here, but they stay, stay here with here too. But here, this is very important part. Uh, is changing a separate Chinese plan teaching them. In our culture, school or whole doesn't matter, we teach it to the kid. It's not like our injury, you know, just teaching Haiti or something. It's our Asian culture, and I think everybody knows that. But here, we cannot do it, like physically, or, you know, it's really long or something like that. It's child use, many, many things, CPS involved with uh, our community member. Because of this, because of this, they don't know what is cultural law and regulation working here. They stay doing, that's why they stay have a problem. So, very important. And also, this is very background for that fear of the police coming to the experience of Malaysia or Thailand, something like that. When they saw a police, they went to be running because they live in the <laughs> illegal, not legally. When they saw fully in Malaysia, hey, give me money, everything, take it out. Phone, money, watch, everything you want, they take it off. Oh, that's what they still worry. Okay, I will say, they arrest me or something like that. They <coughs> do nothing at all. They still worry for them. There's a little program with the uh, school uh, education system in here. A lot of people, I, I mentioned you already, are people from the borderline, especially Korean, Korean people. They have very poor uh, knowledge, situation, education. They don't know how to use a uh, telephone, how to be set up wisely, especially for going for the uh, back to public school. Uh, two or three times a week, we call it right now, because a lot of our education system is changing in the city of Buffalo, uh, borough education. They are noting, they call it, they look at the phone, someone is phone call. 
They are not recognized as phone number. They don't know. They are not picking. Just leave it like that. If not leave it like this, the wise may automatic come in. Someone is not set out a wise may. This cannot leave it a wise may. Someone already set out a wise may. Leave a wise may for our education. But they cannot listen how to be using it. And also, even they know how to be listening, they don't understand everything. What is a meeting day? Where? For what? And for who? They don't know nothing. That's what very uh, problem. Uh, don't talk about email. <laughs> Even our uh, phone message and text, they don't know how to use it for that. They are not using our email too. And language. I mentioned already about the major ethnic group, but I put it here too because of some people I don't know, some people I know already. For the pu public school, public public school, they just know it. Only our eight ethnic are officially recognized. But how is more than eight, like a Zoomie? They are not recognized. I'm not changed. But even they change people from Belmont. Everybody know that. But themselves, I'm not changed. I'm Zoomie. I'm not going to do that. And also a chain. They cannot communicate with each other. That's why we have to be very difficult. But for public school, they have uh, some translation in the interpreter talk, like, uh, you know, it's Burmese. They find it for Burmese, Thai, Korean, Korean, or Chin. But Chin said they use it with different language. No, I don't understand you are, you are Chin. And also each other. That's why we are very challenging in, in the this point. That's why I put it here too. But another can be very easy for them. You know, it's just a couple of language different. Very good. But in Burma, Burmese people are working people in here. It's many challenges for them. And spirit need to know their right. This is only one second right is very important for them. Some people already know that we cannot teach it with uh, like a, you know, a headache or something like that. That's why the kid, don't touch me. I call it police. I call it 911. These people arrest, parent arrest too because of his teaching for them. He hates them physically. Later that, it's very, very scared. They cannot teach it, they cannot touch it, nothing, everything. They are very worried because of that case, right? That's why parents need to know how we have to be teaching their own kid. This is very important part. That's why I'm trying to be getting our uh, communicate with our uh, borough uh, education for the future too. Uh, I think that's all. We have the our uh, information. Yeah. Uh, that's all. Thank you for listening. Local legal representation. Local legal? Legal. Legal, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they do. We have. You mean for the uh, refugee people or yeah. organization? For your local. If they have, yeah, like the refugee people, if they have some uh, trouble with the legal matter or issue, they come into ask or go into find out some organization. We do now with a pro project, it is a free legal or uh, KP for the refugee immigrant people. It is a seven legal organization working together for those people, all kind of issue. Yes. Are all the ethnic groups uh, considered equal if you're in Burma, like, would you consider every ethnic group equal to yourself? Yes. There's you no know, caste system. Yes, because all, all refugee people here is for especially for the borderline, not in the city. That's what. Because uh, all refugee immigrant people are from the borderline. In the middle of the country, it is okay. It's feeling like everybody all have ethnic, like the chain. We, they are not separated. I'm crying very like, like strong, you know, 
the old uh, internet. We are the same. I think we are the same. But because in the borderline, and the fighting group, the armed group, sleeping in the borderline, some people involved with the, our fighting group, you know, they teach you to them. But these governments kill them, you know. They fire your house, food, everything. That's what they're hating in my, my, their, mind, their mind, you know. Oh, we are not communists. There's a lot of people talking about that. Oh, no, we are not communists. But who's coming here? Because I'm doing us interpreter. I go in many places. I see many clients, you know, make very different for them. Who have some individual background is coming in the internet, not Burmese, you know, like the Korean or uh, Korean, doesn't matter. They get up, they graduate with high school or you know, college or university, they never say they are the ethnic. They just say Burmese. What speak what language you speaking? What interpreter do you need that? They never say they're all ethnic. I just they just say I'm Burmese, I just need Burmese interpreter. That's what they say. That. Because of the, you know, the living is very Quality is very different for the education people. But yes, it's Burmese government. They do a very bad thing for the ethnic, especially for the ethnic people, ethnic group. They kill it. That's why these people they cannot change. It. Not easy to change it in the map. Because some some people, some refugees have the experience. They should be proud of them. They bury. You know, everybody can can believe that. Cannot forget that. That's why. We stay a problem too. That's why we do it like the police, uh, you know. Ox I do is not, that's what our organization do it for, not just for the police people. I, for us, we saw that people, all our women, all our people, we are all together. We are all coming from the same country. And here, it is United States. We are all eating together, living together. That's what we do all this. Yes. Um, what is the um, the general attitude that Burmese have towards mental health. In here or in our uh, in Obama or borderline? Ooh, um, I guess what right here. Um, you know, after experiment uh, experiencing trauma and going through different issues, um, do they would they seek mental health counseling or would they? Be, is that something more? Yeah, traffic? some, some they go to see mental health counseling. And a lot of Burmese people. That's a little problem. They didn't like it. If people or someone advise to them, please go to see counselor or make a, some advice for the counselor or some organization. Or whatever. They didn't like it. I'm not crazy. That's why people say that. I'm not crazy. But even not crazy, here is very important. Just advice, you know. Just are happy for the uh, speaking, talking, you know, funny and changing the mind. But they just this club. I'm not crazy people, you know, why I have to be going to see our counselor. That's what people have been. Yeah, they go to see their counselor. They have very serious situation. <laughs> Even we have it. I have it too. Okay, you know, we go to see counselor. But they didn't like it. Or somewhere uh, they charge police arrest or, or hospital doctor or the court recommend to them. You must go to the counselor. That's what they go. Because of worry. If not go to police area again, that's what they come in to see them. If not, they are not. Totally not. They don't have to. Okay. Thank you. You're okay. Yes. Um, what role do religious institutions play in Buffalo in bringing, uh, uh, in bringing the, the Burmese community or assisting the Burmese community? And do you see any divisions you know, because like the, the Burmese Muslims on the east side and, and the, the Buddhist community on the west side, do you see divisions there? Yes, it looks like a little surprising in the Buffalo. Especially Muslim people living in the east side. Or uh, in Christian and Buddhists living in the riverside and the west side too. But even if they need pay for us, like our organization, like a very small community organization. So if they need help, we can help everybody. But it looks like they want to be living their own, very, you know, very organized group or something like that. But our Christian is a lot of population in the city of Buffalo. 
Father or from his people, <coughs> who is a leader. In Muslim Islam too, because a lot of Muslim people, they move from another state. They move from another state. Yes. So, um, out of, let's say, the 8,000 that are here in Buffalo, about what would you say the percentages that have found jobs and are employed? How is that going? Very good question. <laughs> I have a lot. I have a lot number, but us, I know, because I, I was interpreter. The Pamir Sujesavi interpreter for the Pamir Sujesavi, uh, another organization, another place. As I know, I guess, but I'm not sure. It's to the number, you know. It is. 17, 65, I think 65% they get the job. Because of who arriving to the United States, especially to Buffalo, I don't want to say the United States, who they arriving to the Buffalo, it's coming through resettlement agency. Like we have a big four agency in here, International Institute, Catholic Child Family, Johnny San, and Jewish Family Service. It is for resettlement agency. Doesn't matter who arrived here, they find a job for them. Okay. For the household, head of household, especially, mm -hmm. not for the everybody. But some of those jobs are menial jobs, like right. washer. Not, or... not some, so most of them. Yeah, okay. most of them. I guess I should not say majority. Job. Yeah. It's very, very mm -hmm. basic job. Yes. Yes. I've um, taught on the west side for. 30 odd years, um, and now volunteer there still, and I see a dilemma with even translations of um, languages sent home to the children. How many parents do you think would be able to be literate enough in their home languages, even if they were to translate? Because we're not even translating it to all the right. languages. Right. Because so like that, I already told you, it's Korean. Korean. Even if they just speaking the language only, right. they cannot read, they cannot write mm -hmm. everything. What can I do? That's why his parent cannot hear me for the, uh, the kid, school homework too. This is very challenging for us. This is very challenging for us. In the translate like the Burmese, Korean, Korean. Right. The Buffalo schools right will now, translate right? the top 10 languages for all the refugees, not even just yeah. Burmese. Yeah. So now we're cutting out uh -huh. some of the Burmese languages yeah. just because they're and not also, the top 10. Yes, and also uh, Bangu Public School, they do a uh, extra thing for that. I think. Uh, uh, receivership needy. Mm -hmm. All school they start doing like the parents uh, involved with the school. Something right now? Yes. Yes. Well, sorry, we're still, while we're talking about language, I'm curious to know um, how things have been developing with the police department and how um, people who are uh, experiencing okay. crimes were not able to um, communicate with the police. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it's good to know. Thank you for your sure. question. <laughs> we are very uh, different than people right now about the language issue, and especially for the uh, police department. Last year, we had very involved, a uh, very large number breaking issue about 40, 46, 46 break in just a white day's couple in the city of Buffalo. A lot of a lot of our you know go and money is take away. After that we do it here with the police department. Doing that, talking with them, <coughs> we have a new program. And deploying with the uh, why they are not it is about 46, 50, you know, it's 50 number of 50. How many Client, how many people is calling police? Half and half. Police don't know. If no call police, police cannot put it in the record. It's police cannot know the real number. That's why we give it to them. Even if they are not as calling 911, doesn't matter. We know that we give it all information to the police department and we bring the issue to the city hall with our city council. That's our city council resolution that I don't uh, remember the date, but they already a resolution for that. All department, all government department, including police department, doesn't matter, any organization must provide with the language translated. They already a resolution there. Also after that, 
it is uh, our new America office is open. They stay doing. We are very very good about the language issue, and also we finalized last week, and also we have this coming Saturday we have the media gate too, like our, our language identity card, like this, but very small card, you know, like the, our business card side. We do with the with uh, our name, what is uh, your name, and what language you speaking, and emergency contact. If our uh, email they need, you know, and also anywhere they go in hospital or any office or government or even DMV doesn't matter. Just show it them because we do it with a logo together. Our police department is logo and city logo too because we do it by uh, very officially and we will give it to the our people and put it in the pocket anywhere if they need. Just show it to them. That's why we are deployed right now. They already do that. All right, so it's 1.30. Yeah. I want to say thank you to Stephen for taking everybody's questions and presenting today. So